I'm actually shocked that it sold because ugh, bread and butter item. Like I said, I cannot believe that this um, even sold on Poshmark. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to be pulling orders, orders to ship. So it's basically a what sold video where I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Different format than I usually do. I usually do screen sharing, but this one is going to be reseller vlog style. I'm also going to mix in some plush unboxing that a viewer sent me. She sent me some free plush. I actually went and picked it up and got some incredible um, items to share with you guys. So stay tuned and thanks for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share and let's get started. All right, we're looking for tote 23. There it is. Ugh. All right, so I sold a beach ball. And I got it from the Goodwill bins. And if you don't know, beach balls can be a bolo. This one right here is a mega beach ball and it's a 44 inch. Now this one had like a Dollar General store tag on it. And I don't think it's super vintage, but it's pretty big. And I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, we are heading over to tote 43 right here and I'm looking for those Bretts. You guys remember the Goodwill Bins video and at the end of the video I showed you a bunch of Bretts and I unbagged them. Well, this is one of those Bretts I do believe and I sold this Brett right here. It's this gold one. It's made in France. This Brett I sold this for $15.50, buyer paid shipping. So nice little bolo right there, bread and butter bolo made in France, sold pretty quickly. All right, you guys, this is bag four of the free plush that I got from a viewer. She needed this plush out of her house and she messaged me, I lived close. So I was able to go and pick these items up. Um, this is, I think, part four. So we're gonna get started here. All right, I got my light box lit up so we can really see them here. And of course my dog's gonna eat. <laughs> she always seems to eat. This is a Kohl's Cares. Um, I've talked about that before. I don't typically pick up Kohl's Cares, but um, the Rebel reseller does and I trust her judgment. So I'm gonna start like listing these if I get them. I don't know if I'm gonna source for them, but maybe if they're like a quarter or something. Um, this is, I don't know what kind of dog this is. I know that the Kohl's Cares, most of them are, uh, not super valuable. Maybe Rebel will do a Kohl's Cares video on which ones are valuable. If you haven't checked out the Rebel reseller, she does videos on plush and she tells us which ones to be on the lookout for. This one's Batat. Um, so those are those um, dolls. So I know you can take like a dog brush and brush these out. I am super lazy though. I never like to do that. So it's got something around its neck. What is happening here? All right, so this next item, I pick it up all the time if I see it at the bins. Now, if I'm at a garage sale and it's overpriced, I will make sure that I do my research before I overspend on it. So you gotta be careful with these. This one's a bread and butter. It is a bitty baby and I got it at the Goodwill bins. So I'm gonna show her to you. All right, she's over here in tote 17. And pretty much bag everything anymore just to keep it organized. A lot of times I will put things in bundles and it just makes it easier for me to find stuff. Sometimes I leave it in the bag, sometimes I don't, but this is the Bitty Baby. I sold her for $15. Now, um, why did I only sell her for $15? I'm going to show you why. She's just not perfect. <laughs> but she can probably be cleaned up a little bit. I don't know. I know you can send some American Girl dolls to the hospital, like if their eyes get messed up. I don't know if you can just throw this in the washing machine and put like a pillow bag around it. Anybody know? And just wash it up. 
it's just a little dirty, uh, but it is American Girl, and it is, and I just took good pictures and disclosed everything, 2017, so she's not super old, but she's, I mean, she's still a bitty baby. Is that creepy? Hello. Listen. Shh. Oh, her eyes stuck. Is that her eyes? Listen. Is that weird? Hear it? All right, plush tote nine. Um, this is called a Jingle Pals. And I got this also at the Goodwill bins. And you can see right here, it's got an on and off switch. I pretty much pick up anything that's animated. And I did put a video in the description of my listing. I sold this for $13.64 plus shipping. And it's just a little cutie. So that's going out. Oh my goodness, you guys are going to love this one. Okay, so the funny thing is, anything that is new old stock, switch this around, anything that is new old stock and it is lightweight, I'm going to pick it up even if it's just a bread and butter. So this item that you're about to see sold for $9.92 plus shipping. It's just a bread and butter item, but it sold pretty quickly. And I'm not even really sure what it is. All right, it says that it's in this tote. Eek! Okay, so um, it says Dremel. So I think it's some sort of like, uh, but it's in here maybe. Is it in here? Here it is. Look, right there. I think they're blades, maybe. Yeah, five piece. So almost ten bucks plus shipping, just for this little thing. And it's it weighs like I don't know, maybe three ounces. It's a dollar eighty nine at my Goodwill bins. So that's fantastic. So so far, all five items that I have showed you have all come from the Goodwill bins. Oh, it's like the original. So it's, it's still got the original thing on it and it looks like that. Some of them stuffed animals, they just get scruffy fast. Oh, this one's cute. Uh, this one says good stuff. It looks like it's some sort of sports bear. Boston Red Sox has the original tag and look at that little cutiness on his foot. All right, stay. I think there's a big guy in here, so this video probably won't be super long. All right, this one is a Martha, Rustberry Martha. She looks like she's a 4th of July bear. She should be pretty easy to look up. This one here is Natalie. She is an angel bear by Gans. That's interesting. Never seen one of those. Okay. Ooh, baby's first doll. I like that. It's a rattle. I don't know if it's big money or not, but um, it's by Fisher Price. It's from 2008, and I'm going to bet you that somebody is looking for that for sure. We're heading back over here to tote 17. This one came from a thrift store, paid $3. I'm not sure if this was like the best deal ever. Um, so these Furbies, I believe they're McDonald's. They all do like little different things. And I got to check and see what I sold them for. Sold for $13 plus shipping, but here's the catch. They're going internationally. So the buyer also had to pay customs and all of that good stuff for these. So I don't know what they're all in for, but 13 plus tax plus shipping. I have to send it to Kentucky. I do use global shipping. I like global shipping. I know there's a new shipping program that's out. I know the Rebel reseller is using it. Um, so far, I have not opted in. I'm happy with global shipping. I'm going to stick with it for now and let them work out all the, the kinks and oh, all that stuff. I've heard good and bad about it. So um, usually I wait. I'm kind of like, I'm comfortable with what I'm doing. I'm just going to stick with that. So check out the Rebel reseller. She has talked about it in some of her videos. I know the Cha-Ching King also put out a video on it. I have not watched that yet. Guilty uh, because I'm just really not interested in switching yet, but I may go over and take a peek at that and see what he has to say about it as well. Um, his videos, he's got a lot of videos that are great for beginners. So um, if you are new, 
to eBay and you're learning how to sell, check out his channel. But even if you've been a seller for a long time, check out his channel because he is a big money bolo finder. And that is the Cha-Ching King. Okay, so this next item, I sold it for uh, $10.54. The buyer paid tax and shipping on this. This is an item that I always pick up. It's a toy. And you guys, I'm turning on the light, so get ready. Lights! Um, I always pick it up. I love toys. I, I love them because I can usually find them very cheap. And I can make decent money on them. So this is what I sold. I think this is the one. Uh, let me make sure. I'll check the date. There is a date on the back. So I do pick a lot of these up. Let me see if there's another baby Jesus in here. Oh, there is. So I have to look and confirm. Did I sell this baby Jesus? Or this baby Jesus? Ah, I think it might have been this one. So they're different years. So let me check real quick. It was this one. And this one is 2001. So again, put that date in the title. That's going to help people find your item, okay? Because these are very similar, but they're a different year. And the base is different, and they go with a different set. So the person that's looking to complete their set is going to look for the date, okay? So this one's going out. $10.54 plus tax and shipping on that one. Oh, my goodness. I can't. Baby's first Christmas. Look. It's Bambi and it's musical. Um, Walt Disney Company. Oh, it's so cute. Wow, that one is adorable. I love it. That is so cute. We have a Mickey Mouse with bunny ears. So this is an Easter Mickey. Um, this one is Dream International Limited. So, I don't know. So far, nothing I've ever sold before. So, we will be looking things up. This guy's funny. He has no tush tag. So, I will use Google Lens to see. Right, this next item, we're going over to Tote 11, which I have no idea where that is. Is it over here? It's over here. Okay. It is a La La Lopsy doll or something. I also got her at the bins. So all of these items are coming from the Goodwill bins. She's a little bit heavier. Um, so I probably had close to $3 and maybe 50 cents in her. $1.89 a pound. I don't know what she weighs. But I, told, I sold her for um, $21.70 plus shipping. Right, this one's coming out of tote 27. I'm looking at my totes. Where is tote 27? Ooh, I think it's over here. I have a feeling it's over here. Oh my goodness. You know, I kind of have them in order, but then they get moved around. And anyway, uh, this one I've actually had for quite a while. I've had a lot of interest in it. I feel like I've had offers in the past, but, um, I got it out of a thrift store mystery box and it is a Hallmark ornament and it is right here. Oops, I just popped her out. So it's this girl. I, get, I think she's from Disney, the Hunchback of Notre, no, is it Notre Dame or Notre Dame? Notre Dame, I think, I don't know, Esmeralda. And I think she sold for $9.92 plus shipping. So she's going out. All right, we're going back over to this tote that is still open. I didn't even put the lid on. And I'm looking for a couple of piggies, plush piggies. Where are they? I'm wondering if they're in plush tote 11 and not, or seven. No, that doesn't make sense. Where are they? Oh man, did I mess up? Where's the little piggies at? Love it when this happens. Love it. Gotta love it. Okay, I gotta find the pigs. If I can figure it out, does anybody know what kind of dog that is? It's got sparkly eyes. I wonder if it's a TY. You know what that is. It's a Dalmatian. Patch. Patch. Uh, Disney store exclusive. 101 patch, 101 Dalmatians. 
looking for a date. Don't see anything. Um, he doesn't look too bad, really. Sometimes when they're white, they start to yellow, but look at his black ear and his white ear. How cute is that? Cute. So I looked in tote 17 because they sold for 17. They're actually in tote 11. So let's go over to tote 11 and find these pigs. Just in tote 11. It was just here. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. Where are you guys hiding at? Oh, where are you? I think I found them. So we've got the painter and the ballerina, and I believe these came from the Goodwill Ben's outlet as well. So I decided to put these together to um, maybe get somebody to bite on my item because they were getting two for one and the shipping was together, you know? So I do that sometimes with my plush. I will create a lot. So those are going out. Okay, we are back in this room and we are gonna find Tote G here. Sometimes I'm lazy and I just don't pick stuff up. This would be an example of that. So um, this one is a, another item that I pick up all the time and I'm guilty of hoarding it. What I do is I buy it in bulk whenever I see it and I throw it in a tote. Um, super guilty. This one, this piece in particular, came from a mystery box from Auctions for You. So I listed it and it sold for $10, but I gotta find it. Why do I feel like it should be in here? It's a, all right, I'm gonna look for it with two hands. I'll be back. Okay, I found her. Um, I was working in tote G, but I knew that it was a Fisher Price item and I keep all of my Fisher Price items in the same spot. So I was able to find her pretty quickly because I had put her where she was supposed to go. Um, unfortunately, I spent a little bit of time looking in tote G. So you guys are probably thinking, she is so unorganized. Every time she does this, she can't find something. I feel like I'm pretty organized. I've got like 7,000 things listed. So, I mean, if I find it, that's good, right? We all make mistakes. All right, this is a the petting zoo, and it looks like the American flag. Um, 1994 on that one. That's pretty cool. Brass button bear, original tag, 1996. Got his little tush tag here. His name is Cody. Cody, there he is. So this is Craft Tote 2. <laughs> it's always a joy. Um, I am looking for, it is called Summer Sun, but in the title I put Summer Run. And it was just a typo. I think it'll be okay. It has kind of a pink border. I think this might be it. Nope, that's Spring Roses, but it's a sampler like this. It's called Needles and Hoops. These came from um, an estate clean out, and I've got so many listed. Um, that one's Autumn Harvest. So I just really just have to look through here until I find the one I'm looking for. Here it is, Summer Sun. Um, I think it was originally a Big Lots, like Odd Lots sticker, and this sold for, did I say $24.70 plus shipping? And it's a sampler, and that's what it looks like. So, nice little bolo right there, bread and butter bolos. Some of these can go for huge, big money, and a lot of them are just bread and butter, but $24, bucks, and my cost of goods was probably less than a dollar. I'm really, really happy with that sale. Okay, so I told you this little girl came out of a mystery toy box from Auctions For You. Um, I've talked about their uh, Donatella Bottolino in Auctions For You all the time. I talk about them all the time. The next item I'm about to pull is a major bread and butter. It was in, uh, I 
I think it was a mystery toy box. I don't recall exactly which box. If you watch my channel, I have a bunch of unboxings from both of these ladies. Whenever I buy from their YouTube auctions, I do videos and I show you guys, I unbox it and I show you how I list everything. So, um, and then you see me talk about them in my what sold videos, but this item was kind of one of those, like, I don't know what to do with it. I know it's a bread and butter, but I think I'm going to list it and just see if it will sell. And this one came out of a mystery box from Donatella Bottolino. Again, it's a mixture of all kinds of items. So you never know what you're going to get, but I will tell you if you get a box from them, list everything because even if it's bread and butter, it's going to add up. Okay. Um, oftentimes, you know, you're like, Oh, I'm not going to get very much for this, but if you get something, it's going to add up. Most of the items you're going to find lots of value in. You're going to be like, this is nice. This is awesome. But sometimes there'll be something in there and you'll look it up and it's like, eh, I don't know if I really want to list this. But here's an example of one of those items that I almost didn't list. And I'm glad I did because even though I didn't make big money on it, it still is money. Okay. And it took me no time at all to list. So let me show you that item. Okay, so if this item would have had clothing, <laughs> it definitely would have been worth more money. But she didn't have any clothes, and that's kind of why I was like, should I list her? Should I not list her? And she is a, like a LOL OMG doll, I think they're called. I used Google Lens to figure it out. I've got to find her here for you guys. And she's not very big. She's a smaller one. And I, I sold her for $5.50. And this is what she looks like. So her hair is fantastic. And I'm like, you know, somebody might want this. So I went ahead and listed her. $5.50. Buyer paid tax and shipping. So I'm going to make some money on this. The box, um, the boxes that I get from them, I always make a ton of money. So definitely check out those unboxing videos. And you'll see what I mean about listing, you know, some items. Like I just sold an item out of Miss uh, Auctions for Use box for 80 bucks. And then another item might only go for 10 bucks. But if you pay 100 or 150 for the entire box, all of those smalls and bread and butter to add up. They're gonna add up. So um, list everything. You know, the more, if, you, if you're if you like, eh, I don't feel like listing this, it's not worth, you know, listing, then you're not gonna make as much. These these items still sell. People are still looking for them. Um, so yeah, $5.50, the buyer uh, paid tax and shipping on that. Okay, this tote used to be like to the top. I've probably had more than one of these totes because I used to buy these and sell these all the time. Some of them I would source directly from Lane Bryant. These are Kasik swimsuits. This one is a size 28. It's kind of like a leopard print. Uh, retails for, what, $54.93? I don't know what I have it listed for. So I still have that one. This one here also came from Lane Bryant. Uh, so I used to do a lot of retail arbitrage. I would go on to websites and I would source from them. And Lane Bryant was one of them. This one came from Discount Fashion Warehouse. These are... Items that were discontinued, that didn't sell in the store, so they're new old stock, and they go to a discount store. They are then marked through like this, and that is so you cannot return them to the original store. I uh, ended up taking a best offer on this little cute skirt for um, $11 plus tax and shipping. So again, it's just a new old stock item. <laughs> the thing with these, I bought tons of them. I've sold a bunch of them. They sold quicker at first, but I think now they're even more discontinued that, you know, the right person has to come along that needs this pattern and this print or has something to match it. So it becomes more of a long tail item at this point, And I'm just wanting to move them. So $11 plus tax and shipping. My cost of goods was approximately $3 for that. And like I said, there's a big guy in here. So uh, let's do the small ones first. <laughs> Look at this. This is a happy little sheep. Huggable Irish friends. Huh. 2015. Aleo? I don't know what that means. Never seen that brand. We have a penguin. GP or GPI. 
Uh, GPIASTM, not sure. Peppa, Peppa, or PP, Peppa. I don't know what it is. PP, <laughs> PP the penguin. Oh, it's a Kroger. Uh, that's interesting. It's a Kroger mascot. <laughs> This one is cute. It is a the Barrington Collection little teddy bear. All right, you ready for the big guy? I may just have to sit my phone down. Oh my goodness, he's huge. All right, here he is. He's a, uh, is he a tiger? I think he's a tiger. Love, loves travel pals. No tush tag that I see. He's really soft and he is really big. So there he is. There he is. <laughs> and you know what? There's one more in here. One more little guy hiding down in the bottom. And he's a little one. He is a prayer buddy. My job has been to sit in church and listen to all scriptures, sermons, and prayers. So now that I'm coming to you, I am immersed in the holiness of God for your benefit. Whenever you look at me, touch me, or hold me, God's holiness touches you. And you're reminded that people of Chesterville United Methodist Church are lifting you up in their love. My hope is that you will love me since God loves you enough to send me to you that we might ha love each other. May I, the God I serve bless you. Amen. Cute. So they must have done this um, as like a little project where they got stuffed animals and then they attached that and they gave them out as little gifts. It's all Greek to me. That's the brand of the dog. I'm guessing probably um, somebody just donated uh, stuffed animals and then they added those on cute idea right all right you guys that's that bag so let's talk a little more about retail arbitrage these are all david's bridal website um dresses i would not do this again ever um have i made money yes have i sold a ton yes but this is what i have left and i have sold a ton i got them anywhere from five dollars probably up to around 20 25 dollars a piece i tried to you know source them as cheaply as possible but um i just sold one i sold it i believe for 22 dollars plus tax and shipping at this point i just want to get these out of my house and out of my life they are bridesmaid dresses now the good thing about it is david's bridal's they have um, colors on the tags. So this is Malibu. So somebody may be having a wedding and they're like, I don't care what dress you get, just get the color Malibu. And that's when my dresses sell because these are all now discontinued styles and they take longer to sell. These can also be worn for like prom and homecoming and stuff like that. But whenever I sell one, I'm super happy. The bad thing about these types of dresses uh, the return rate is kind of high because um, people don't check measurements. And a lot of these dresses, the sizes run a little wonky. Um, they either run a little small or a little big or they don't fit in the bust or they're too tight in the waist. There's always, you know, something. But I have sold a ton of them. I have definitely made my money back plus money. So I kind of feel like from here on out, anything that I sell, it's all profit from here. But again, look how much space these are taking up. Like I just want them gone. So anyway, I sold one. Super happy about that. Hopefully it fits and they don't return it. This one right here is plum and it is the, the crumb catcher style dress. So all new with tags, original tags. I mean, they're great dresses, but man, just talk about long tail. And again, this was like a retail arbitrage thing that I did just like the bra. Um, I did brawls and I also did swimwear on Cacique Lane Bryant. So it is possible to source retail arbitrage online. I used to do it all the time, but I would not recommend David's Bridal. <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. So this next item I picked up at a garage sale for two bucks. I just thought they were super cute and I sold them for $15 plus tax and shipping and we're gonna head over to the tote and see if we can find them quickly ah 
Okay, they're in tote 26, which makes sense because I have a lot of Christmas ornaments in here. Uh, that's not it. I may or may not have bubble wrap them. So we're just gonna look. That's all we can do, right? That's all we can do. Would you rather me cut the looking part out of the video or do you like to hear me ruffle through stuff and look for my stuff? And does it make you feel better about how long it may takes you to find your stuff sometimes? <laughs> Where is it? They might be in one of these bags. I'm gonna take a peek. Found them. I'll have to pop up a screenshot because I already have them bubble wrapped. I will add some more bubble wrap, but they are like dough kids or something like that. I think uh, somebody probably made them out of dough. I've been looking at this little lady for days and she popped out of one of the totes. So I just left her out because I wasn't sure which one she went in. And somebody's been showing some interest on Mercari and I've just, uh, I missed, Mercari alerts. I, I will say Mercari has a tough time with alerts, but I want to show you this. She is Disney store. So usually you can find the tag on the inside of the leg. And I sold her for $20, uh, free shipping on Mercari. And, um, I'll just put her in a poly mailer, probably fold her in half like this, poly mailer her up and get her shipped out first class. And I do pick up most Disney store plush because they have a tendency to do well. Some of them are long tail, but some of them sell quickly. And the Disney princesses, you know, somebody is usually looking for that. All right, you guys, if you're not on Mercari, you can join with my link down below and you will get $10 off your first purchase. Now, I personally love shopping on Mercari. Sometimes I go to Mercari before I go to eBay. My husband buys a bunch on Mercari. Um, I feel like it's a lot of hobby sellers and sometimes you can find a really good deal over there and it's sometimes easier to just search on Mercari. So even if you don't want to sell on Mercari, definitely consider uh, clicking on that link. It's a referral link so you will get 10 free dollars to shop and now's the perfect time to buy, right? Um, anytime is the perfect time to buy. You can maybe even source something to buy and then resell. Um, but if you want to sell on Mercari, once you sell $100 worth of stuff, you will get another $20 to shop. So that's $30 total you'll get from Mercari if you use my link down below. So definitely check that out. This is going to be fun. I am looking for Y6 and I think it was B5. So, uh, a state buyout this, uh, summer and they had all of this yarn and I still have a ton to list, but, uh, my friend came over the girl, um, her name's Erin. She went to the Goodwill bins with me and she's in a couple of my videos, but we like sorted this yarn and packed it up. And, uh, I just sold two of them on a bundle on Poshmark and I will pop it up over here so you can see what it looks like because I've already got these bagged and ready to ship. Okay, so I'm looking for B5 and Y6. Now, you can see right here, um, it's kind of a, a mess. I just have to find it, right? Inventory B5, there it is, B5. Now we're looking for Y6, um, Y6. So I know that these two are the ones that are going out. Again, that is a Poshmark sale. I took an offer, I believe, let me check. So I took an offer on those for $24 for, I don't know how many's in each. It looks like five in one and maybe six in the other. I'll pop up screenshots for you guys to see. But I only put the yarn on Poshmark because um, I had all the pictures. Sometimes when I'm laying in bed and I just want to list quick and easy, Poshmark is really great. And yarn can like, the, it's kind of heavy. So you've got that cheaper shipping over on Poshmark, especially when people bundle. So this will be under five pounds and it should ship for um, whatever, like the almost $8 price range, price point. And if you're not on Poshmark and you're thinking about selling on Poshmark, I do have a link down below. It's a referral link. So you will get $10 um, to shop when you use that link. And then when you buy something, they will give me $10 to shop. So I appreciate it when you use my um, referral links down below that really helps me out and I appreciate it. So we're going to get that yarn shipped out and wait until you see the next item that sold on Poshmark. And this is another item I think I only put on Poshmark. Um, I felt like there wasn't going to be really a market on eBay for this item. And I also felt like on Poshmark, things get pushed through the feed, like when you share 
and somebody might see this and think it's cute and maybe bundle it with something else. Well, they didn't bundle it with something else and I'm actually shocked that it sold because they paid quite a bit for the shipping because this is a first class item and that's the one thing about Poshmark is even if the item is first class, it still ships out priority mail. Like if it's first class weight, it'll still ship out in a prior priority mail package. So they're still paying like almost $8 for shipping. So before with the yarn, it's like they're only paying almost $8 in shipping. With the first class item, I'm like, they're paying almost $8 in shipping for this item. So um, it's kind of funny. That's what's great is like, you just got to pick out which platform works best for you. And that's why I say you should cross post. So I start on eBay. I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. I use List Perfectly. There is a video down in the description that shows you how I use List Perfectly to cross post. And if you watch it and you think that it's a good fit for you, you can get 30% off your first month with my referral code, Bolo Buddies, all one word, um, when you uh, buy your subscription. And there's three different plans right now. There's the basic, the business, and the pro. And I talk about all of those in that video. So you can check that out if you're interested in getting on multiple platforms. All right, so this is a major, major ugh, bread and butter item. Like I said, I cannot believe that this um, even sold on Poshmark because... They paid $7 for it, but they also paid all the shipping costs. Let's see if I can find it here. It's a towel. It's a bath towel. I mean, it's a cute bath towel, but here it is. It's a snowman, and it looks like that. It's just a white towel. With, it kind of looks like Olaf, um, but yeah, they paid $7 plus shipping. Uh, now, I did send them an offer with discounted shipping. So they didn't pay the full amount of shipping, but I'm only going to make like $2.33 on this. But this came out of a thrift store mystery box. So I have very little invested in this and a sale is a sale, right? So I wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know which item was your favorite. Let me know if you're a fan of the reseller vlogs or if you prefer the screen sharing. Um, I'm going to continue to do both, but would love your feedback. Thanks so much for watching. Just taken and sometimes it... <coughs> Let's try that again. <coughs> <coughs>